this is absolutely the last time I ever say yes to a show in the woods. I have been trudging through this forest forever and I can't find anything. Under the pale moon's glow, the shadows come alive. Uh, foggy Jack's delight, his tricks will make you die. Uh, with a snap and a swing, he'll cast his spell. Little hold of dark enchantment, where his nightmares dwell. Oh, Foggy Jack, the magician of the night, with a smile and a wink, he makes the dark so bright. He's got the magic touch, a spell to bring you near. Foggy Jack, Foggy Jack. Just sit down, I guess, and wait. I don't know. I don't know where this show is. It, she just told me, go to the forest, and it's already set up. What does that even mean? Is it, is it on? It, it's on, right? Yeah, fix my hair. Okay, should we, should we do some magic now? Let's do some magic. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but we are in the woods. And the woods actually contain the home of a fairy. Do you know what a fairy is? No, not something I was called in high school. A fairy is a little woodland creature, a little little tinkerbell, if you, if you please. What I need you to do through the screen is grab a fairy right out of the air. Yes, grab a fairy right out of the air, and what I need you to do is I need you to throw it to me through the camera. Ready, one, two, and just like that. Throw it to me through the camera. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an ordinary paper sack, take the fairy, place it into the sack, just like that. Now, on the count of three, we're going to do something amazing and never before seen. We're going to take this bag, this fairy that we just captured, and make a real life fairy appear right before your eyes. Here we go. One, two, three. And just like that, a fairy A fairy appears in many, many pieces right in front. I, I have a backup. Don't worry. One more paper bag, just like this. We have the fairy pieces. Now we're going to take the fairy pieces. We'll put them back into the bag. And we'll try one more time. Take that fairy and make it appear just like so. One, two, three. The fairy will appear right once again in many different colors, many different shapes. Um, we can try one more time. I came prepared. Three's the perfect amount. We take the fairy splatter, place it into the bag. One last time. We try. Wasn't just what I was called in high school. A fairy just like that is now some way to clean my nose. Oh, wow. Q-tips on the ground? How convenient. You know, if you ever find a Q-tip on the ground, it is said that it is good luck to lick it and then stick it. <laughs> in your nose. Mm. Magic is something that's magical. And when you find something magical, you have to keep being magical. So, magic is magical. Yes, I did start an OnlyFans. In the mid-1900s, there was a thing that people did that they used to scam people. What they said they could do is they could go into someone's body and pull out tumors or cancers or 
growths. And all it was, was a scam, a sham. What I'm about to perform for you is just that. This is my rendition of psychic surgery. These people would start as shamans or witch doctors, and they would bless the sick and the weary and the forsaken. They would bless them. Make sure that they're okay. Then what they would do is they would proceed for money. They would ask for payment to perform such miracles as I'm about to perform for you. Some people would get scammed out of thousands and thousands of dollars just for someone to lie to them, to trick them, and to give them false hope. This is our patient. He's sick. He needs help. And we are just so gracious enough to help our sick, sick little man. Now, what these doctors would do is they would use fake blood, fake organs and tissues to go into the, to the person and they would dive deep into their bodies and they would bring out organs and tissues. And try and try as they did, they would always scam that person into thinking they were taking out organs and tissues, only to be scammed by these so-called doctors. <clears throat> Warning, the stunts and illusions performed on this show were designed and tested by Foggy Jack, a highly trained professional. These demonstrations are extremely dangerous and should not be attempted by anyone, anywhere, at any time. We probably should have put that at the beginning of the show. What I have here are, very, are six very real and very sharp razor blades. If you remember back, a while back, there was a story that went around about a man taking razor blades and putting them into candy bars on Halloween night. This is my ode to that man. They never did catch him, but they vowed if they caught him, they would do the same thing to him as he did to those children. Now, I do not recommend anyone trying this trick. It is gross. It is unneeded, and at times, very, very painful. Now, if you are going to try this trick for the first time, you might want to dull the razor blades before doing this.